That's right, today you, me and Catherine Clueless are going on an adventure to Egypt. The only annoying thing is we can only stay there for three days initially and you have to build up visa points like we did in China where we can now do an eight day holiday. I've literally been begging for an Egyptian style world or Moroccan style world or some kind of North African style world in The Sims 4 for ages. The closest we got was like that courtyard oasis kit but it was just a kit like it doesn't really mean anything. I would honestly love to see a world this big and ambitious in The Sims for. Oh my god, Catherine Clueless is so excited. She's staying in a filthy camping tent. I honestly could not think of anything worse than camping. So in order to unlock the tombs, we've got to go through these quests. Time to report in. Catherine Clueless looks like she's ready for a day at the office. Enter the tomb of discovery. Okay. The tomb is right next to our- oh my god, what is she doing? What are you doing, Catherine? The tomb is right next to our house, which is really, really ideal. And of course, we are going to be turning Catherine Clueless into into a mummy in this episode. I am so excited. She is having the time of her life for doing these puzzles. Let's hope she doesn't get burnt like she did in the last episode. Though I'm seeing a lot of dead skeletons around, which is concerning. This one looks quite contempt actually. His arms are just like... Okay, we made it. That was literally super quick. Oh, we've got some copper and we've got the briefing. I don't know why on earth there is- Oh, is this a secret hole? Have I discovered a secret hole? What is in the secret hole? Get in there now, Catherine Clueless. What are you going to find, Catherine? Oh, nice. We found some more gold. We literally have so much gold. Right now, it's getting us to just do fetch quests like fetch this gem, report in, give me something, talk to this person. Like it is a little bit bland, but as we go through, it will get a lot more interesting and there will be a lot more to do. For example, visiting all of these pyramids. I'm so excited. I cannot believe how many dungeons there are. Not just in this world, but remember we have three worlds. We have China, Egypt and France. All of these worlds have missions and dungeons and individual things. I do love the Sims 4 jungle adventure, but it's just like one place. It's just one jungle with a few different tombs. It's not that deep. But hey, I don't want to make this video a negative mode about the Sims 4. I just want to enjoy the Sims 3 because it is honestly an incredible game. That's right, we are entering our first pyramid. I'm so excited. Oh, there's another explorer with me. Hello there. Rude introduction. I don't want to hear. This is my tomb. Literally, get out, please. She's like, excuse me? Oh my god, we can slap her. Oh my god, the Sims 4 could never. <laughs> And of course, a fight, because it wouldn't be The Sims if we didn't get in a fight with another Sim. Catherine Clueless is really going for it. She is a martial artist, so I think we will categorically smash her head in. Did we win? I think we won. Anyway, I hope she has learned her lesson and she will now leave me alone, because this is my tomb to explore, not hers. Oh my god, there is a sarcophagus. Oh my god, look in sight now. Oh my god, Catherine is going in the sarcophagus. I hope she does not turn into a mummy. Well, I do, because it would be incredibly funny content. Oh, what's happening? Oh my god, she found a cuts something worth $64. That is cool. Fair play. And look, we have some rubble here. And because we have a giant axe that we got from China, we can actually just smash it to pieces really, really quickly and easily because Catherine is such a baddie. And look, I think we've got to pull this little statue on it and then we can actually get something from it, which will be very cool. What's going to happen? Oh, nice. A door open. And we got a treasure chest with lots. Well, I say lots. Only one bit of treasure. Ah, uh, see, it's a canopic jar. When we get five of these canopic jars, we can actually she creates a mummy to live with us, which will be amazing. So yes, I'm snatching that. Okay, we're going really deep in here now. Okay, let's smash this boulder with our giant axe. And let's get some more stuff. Oh yes, we've got another jar. I definitely recommend, by the way, if you do play with this pack, I actually recommend playing first with the China world because you can get the axe, which is super useful. Oh my God, she just burnt herself. And now she's going in there. Sorry, I did it in speed three mode so you didn't see. She burnt herself on this little trap. I should have known, I should have known. We've got to disarm it first. I'm so sorry, Catherine Clueless. She's so clueless that she stepped on it. Right, come on then. Get your hand in the hole. Disarm it. I wonder if there's going to be another one here. I'm terrified. Is there another one? Okay, I think we are safe. Oh, nice. There is another sarcophagus. What is in this one? I want to know. Is there a mummy? There's nothing. Oh, she looks scared. Why is she closing it? What's wrong, Catherine? Oh my god, there is a mummy. Oh my god, King Raymundo. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's so cute. I want him in my household now. Can I cheat him in my household? Oh no, I can't. This is so annoying. Oh my god, he's literally so 
so cute. Mummies can be distracted with mummy snacks. We probably should have got one of those. Whoopsie. Oh my god, he is coming for me. Oh my god, he's coming for me. We're trapped quick. Go oh, extreme jog over here. Run away. Run away from the mummy. Run away. Oh my god, she's stopped. <laughs> she's stopped. No. What's he gonna do? Oh my god, she's fighting him. Oh my god, he's fighting the mummy. Oh my god, Catherine, you're so violent. <laughs> She is a martial artist. She's like level eight in the martial arts skill. Hopefully she will smash his mug in. <laughs> Oh my god, I am literally trembling for Catherine. What is gonna happen? Oh my god, does she just beat him up? Absolutely gutted, mate. She beat him up. Absolutely gutted. He's flying away now because he knows he's been- Oh my god, he literally got destroyed and now he is a pile of soot. <laughs> he's like an ancient mummy, thousands of years old, and we just beat him up. Congratulations, Catherine, you absolute psychopath. Okay, let's just clean him up. Let's not be too rude. Let's clean up his ash. It does look rather dangerous and scary in here. I think- Ooh, can we interact with this wall? Inspect? Is there something behind? here. I'm literally traumatized by all of these notifications constantly popping up. Though to be fair, there is a lot to this tomb. Like all of this stuff is basically optional. We've completed the tomb. We don't even need to go through here anymore, but there's still so much to do. Oh my god, she is burning on fire. Oh my god, for Christ's sake, Catherine Clueless. You are so clueless. Extinguish yourself now. Oh, thank god for that. Oh my god, our vacation will be over in one day. Okay, I've got to hurry up. Oh my god, where are we now? This place is literally so dangerous. There's literally flames and everything everywhere. Oh my god, we've got to stand on this and we're going to get burnt in the fire, aren't we? Are we gonna get burnt? No, we're safe. We have completed the legendary Tomb of the Burning Sands. Yes, that is great. That took a long time, by the way, to complete, which I'm surprised about. Okay, I know it's 3 a.m., but we really need to deliver these fruits now because we've not even completed the first quest line and our holiday's almost over. Though it goes to show just like how big this game actually is. There was literally so much to The Sims 3. World Adventures is definitely by far my favorite Sims 3 pack. It is honestly superb. Oh my god, Catherine is just autonomously running back to the base camp. Oh my god, does that mean a holiday is over? It's over so soon. I always complain like, oh, The Sims 4 is so easy. And that's why I honestly love The Sims 3 World Adventures because you've got to follow missions, but they're not completely strict linear missions. You can do it in any way you like, in any order. And you've got to unlock things and go back and find different secret places. And you've got to unlock longer stays. It's just so in depth. I honestly love this pack. The only issue is now we've got to wait like 24 hours before we can actually return turn back to Egypt. I think I might just put like all of the collectibles outside on these little stands. Okay, this is probably like a really unuseful stand. Let's just get a couple of mahusive displays and then maybe eventually we can open up a museum. That is a really, really fun gameplay idea. I love that gameplay idea. Okay, let me dump all the Egypt stuff here. That's right. I did just take a very quick lunch break. We are now ready to travel again for five days this time. Catherine Clueless is cluelessly going back to Egypt. She has no idea what's in store for her. She has no idea that I'm about to turn her into a mummy. And of course it saves our progress so we can get back to the missions that we were doing before. Catherine has learned that Fahad is rich. Oh, is he rich? I mean, to be fair, the house is, okay, the house is a bit bare and empty. The Sim 3 builds, we don't talk about them, but this is actually quite a nice house. I would love to rebuild some of the Sim 3 houses in the Sims 4, but that is another video for another day. Although I would love this man to be our sugar daddy, we actually have to enter the library under the sands, which is inside this house, which is rather, rather interesting. Bless Catherine. She is so traumatized by all of these dungeons that I'm making her do. She really has no idea what she's getting herself into. Oh, something shiny. What's in here? I want to know. The saga of three relics and a dive well fragment. Absolutely lovely. Catherine Clueless is not so clueless after all, for she has found so many relics. I think we should celebrate by setting off the fireworks that we took from China. Can we celebrate them? How do we put the fireworks down? I want to know. Can we put it here? What happens if we just click launch? Oh my god, she's launching it by the house, she could set it on fire. Oh my god, Catherine, you are definitely clueless. If you want a better view of the fireworks, try going to map view. Oh, let's go, quick. Oh, nice. Right, we need to collect some copper now. Again, it's one of those boring fetch quests. I am gonna cheat a little bit and just teleport me to them because really it's not like that riveting gameplay. I don't think it matters too much if we cheat this part. Although I wish it would just stop notifying me every single time I get it because it is so annoying. In fact, whilst we're here, I think we should buy some stuff from this guy's shop. A snake charming basket. Oh my God, yes, please. <gasps> oh guys, sorry, I just burped. I just had lunch. I had a cornbread cake thing and I just feel a bit gassy 
anyway, we have an incense holder, a mummified teddy bear. Oh my God. And we got a really cute little motorcycle. That is incredible. And we've got a little chest. Oh my God. This is amazing. We are officially now entering the next tomb because the storyline is telling us to. I'm not sure why though. Oh, this looks rather beautiful. Looks like a Zaud dungeon. What's in this pile of dirt in the ground? I bet it's a trap. It's another trap, isn't it? Yeah, I knew it. Oh gosh. Now we've got electricity traps. This is awful. Okay. Let's hope that she does not get zapped when she goes through this. Did she get zapped? Okay. I think she's fine, but that looked very dangerous. I am categorically stuck. Oh no. There was a door right here staring at me in the face. I just didn't see it. Oh, look at this. There's steam. It's like a Marilyn Monroe moment, but probably a little bit more deadly. Oh my God. She's getting electrocuted. Oh my God. Oh my God. I just sped through that. I wish I didn't. Oh my God. Catherine Clueless just got electrocuted when she's trying to do the boulder. Oh my God. Look at Catherine. <laughs> Poor Catherine. She's like, oh my God. What have you done to me? She won't even look at me in the eyes. She's looking away from me so <laughs> directly. Oh my God. She really hates me, doesn't she? Oh my God. Now she's looking in the other direction. She really hates me. I'm so sorry, Catherine. Let's try smash that again, shall we? Now she literally looks like an anime character. <laughs> okay. What's in here? I hope we find the relic that we need. Okay. We didn't. That is rather annoying. I'm apologizing now, Catherine. That wasn't kind of me, but it is good content when I talk to you. So we will be doing it more often. Okay. What's behind this wall here? I'm praying it is what we need to find. We found a fire hydrant. What on earth is this? We've discovered a secret door with a fire hydrant. What on earth is this? And there's a fossilized grape on the floor. I feel like this is the Sims team trolling us. Why is it just a fire hydrant? What is in here? Please make this be the relic of life we need. No, it's not hot. Okay, it's literally given us nothing. All right, do you know what? I'm gonna pull a GC and I'm gonna get that fire exit door. It's all getting a little bit much. I'm going to return home because I am going to show us exactly what it looks like when we turn Catherine Clueless into a mummy. Okay, now we have to search through the whole of debug. Oh my God, we have got the Arc de Triomphe. Oh my God, we can literally put... <laughs> We can put the Arc de Triomphe in our house. That is literally incredible. Oh, look, there is a gnome that is a Sultan gnome. Oh my God, we actually have gnomes. Is this a French gnome as well? And then do we have the Chinese gnome? Oh my God, we literally have three gnomes. That is incredible that came with this pack. Oh my God, and I completely forgot that we actually bought a snake charming set earlier. So I'm just going to play with that in a minute. So apparently we need to get this cursed tomb. Okay, first, before we do that, let's just charm a snake. Catherine the Clueless is about to cluelessly get bitten by a snake. Oh, Oh my God, she is so excited. She was blowing that horn. Oh my God, there is a snake coming out. Oh my God. Be careful, Catherine. The snake looks rather vicious. I really hope that it does not bite her. Okay, that wasn't as riveting as I thought it would be. That is a shame. Oh well, but it doesn't matter. So firstly, weirdly, we have to deplete our energy need completely. And then we have to go in the tomb. Okay, we are completely depleted. Okay, let's sleep in there. And then maybe, just maybe, we will wake up as a mummy, which is so exciting. Oh my God, I've just been in speed three but I just noticed. Oh my God, my little sarcophagus thing is moved. Oh my God, this gnome is meditating, which is hilarious. It's literally floating. Where is the other gnome gone? I didn't even notice because I was in speed three. Why did he disappear to? He just got his thumb up. Oh my God, that is so cute. As if they moved, I didn't even notice. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Catherine the Clueless is a mummy. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God, she is literally a mummy. Go here. Will she walk as a creepy mummy? Oh my God, Catherine is a mummy. What can we do? Can we do normal things? Can she, okay, like, can she charm a snake as a mummy? Oh my God, that's hilarious. So apparently we don't have a blood need and we don't have an energy need, which is extremely useful. Although the only thing it says in the guide is that she's extremely vulnerable to fire and we can't cook because if she sets herself on fire, she will die instantly, which is rather annoying. Be in a fire. Oh my God. <laughs> Just as I said that she had a new lifetime wish of being in a fire because she's a daredevil. Little does she know she will die. That is honestly absolutely hilarious. Can she still do normal things though? Like can she train for example? Okay. It's literally going to take her ages to walk there because she's a crusty mummy. Oh my God. She's literally, oh my God. She's literally, <laughs> she's a martial artist still, even as a mummy. That is so cool. According to the guy, mummies can do literally everything that a normal sim can do other than have children and they're instantly killed from fire. But other than that, that is it. 2,217 days until aging up because technically she is undead, which makes sense. Next time we are going to France. I've already gone to China. So if you haven't seen the China video, I will post it up here and I'll put all of the video links in the description of this three part series. So make sure you watch them all. See you in the next one.